Hey guys, what up? Boyd Clue is here. Welcome to another episode of Don't Be an IT Guy podcast with Boyd Clues. In this episode, we're going to talk about releasing the limits on your tech career. Trust me, if you ain't listened to nothing that I said before, I want you to get your popcorn, get your snuggie, get on your comfortable spot on the couch or your bed and tune in because this is about to bless yeah. And again, let's jump right in. If you don't know who I am, Boyd Clue is an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert. I help people upgrade their jobs to a six-figure tech career in cybersecurity. If you want to join me on this ride, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the red bell so that you're notified whenever I drop new content guaranteed to take your career to six figures and beyond. Cause that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Let's start with a little engagement right up front. Let me know in the comments immediately. Do you, where you are right now, feel that you can make, earn more than $150,000 a year in tech? Let me know in the comments. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh man, okay, okay. Let's address that. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is, number one, it is extremely, extremely difficult to see or think or dream beyond your exposure. I'm gonna tell y'all a story real quick. And this story is not meant to brag or boast. Anything that you see me do on the internet is not a form of me bragging, but it should inspire you. And if you feel that it is bragging, that's more of a reflection of you than me. Because me and my wife, we give like nobody's business. But the way the culture is today, if I didn't put this Rolex on and show you fam, you wouldn't listen to me. You would not listen. So I do it for you. So don't hate me. All right. Here we go. Back in 2021, the start of my business, Baxter Clue Cybersecurity, I still had a full-time cybersecurity job, right? So the cybersecurity job was paying me $215,000 a year. Now, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. How I went from 33,000 on the help desk to $200,000 as a cybersecurity architect, it'll bless you. But you need to watch this one first. So I am billing $10 million a year as a security consultant through various cybersecurity related assessments, audits for some of the largest companies in the world. I am traveling to India, Australia, Ireland, South America, like everywhere doing these security assessments. And it is amazing building amazing relationship with my clients around the world. By the way, business it's all about relationships, y'all, all about relationships. And I see that there is something in me, guys, that is like missing. I see that the company I'm working for has been extremely profitable. Our largest client that I'm working with, we're billing more and more and more because I'm discovering these issues as I'm performing my work and then I'm offering to assist with these services, which you know generates a contract. So the company's making more money. And of course I get these nice little quarterly bonuses and whatnot, but still, I don't believe in pocket watching, but I bill $10 million in a year. I got paid 200,000. I'm like, something's amiss. I have the capability because I can see it. So I decided to start Baxter Clear Cybersecurity and it happened to be at the beginning of the pandemic. So instead of the original idea that I had, I had to bring everything online, which ultimately was a blessing. So I got to the point where I am making $40,000 a month through Baxter Clue Cybersecurity. And of course I still have my job, but I am so tired because I'm working my job all day. I'm working at BC in the evenings. And so I'm literally working like 7 a.m. to like 4 a.m., take a nap, get up, take my kids to school, repeat. I am in this loop, this big loop. One of my colleagues in the online business industry, he was like, dude, what do you think your biggest problem is? I was like, it's time, man. I don't have enough time and I am burning out. He said, like, what do you think that you're spending most of your time on? I was like, bruh, sales calls. Teaching the tech stuff is easy, but it's the sales calls. He was like, dude, I know somebody that trains and places salespeople at businesses just like yours. I can't introduce you. I was like, all right. So, so I get a call scheduled with um, one of the reps from the guy's company. We get on the call and he was like, all right, Boyd, what's the goal? What is your goal? Because the thing is here, we're all about helping you transition to the next phase of your business. And if it's not something that we can help you with, then I can at least give you some insider directions to another path that we can't serve you. I was like, all right, man, I want to make $100,000 a month. Yo, you know what he did? His response, he laughed at me. And I'm sitting there like, what's so funny? Because <laughs> I want to make 100K a month in my business? What's so funny? He was like, dude, we got people doing two, three million a month. You want to do 100K? Okay. And I was like, 
You mean to tell me you two, three million a month? So here's the takeaway from that, y'all. And I tell people about this every day. When somebody challenges your belief system or shows you something that you think is unattainable, you can either be insulted or inspired. In that moment, I chose inspiration and I don't, I don't regret it. Because many of you right now, especially the ones that commented in this video, that don't believe that you could ever make 150K a year in tech, you're sleeping on your dreams because I was able to do it. And this is what you have to understand. I have this thing that's called a unicorn theory. Unicorns don't exist. If I can do something, that means that you can or some variant of it or other people have done it because there's absolutely nothing new under the sun. I'm the only person in my family without a college degree. I didn't go to school for tech to learn cybersecurity things. I taught myself those things, got to a place where I made $215,000 a year from a company that was paying me, became the senior security architect for American Airlines, making $150,000 with no cause degree, all right? So it's hard for me to hear excuses about why you can't do something. And no, I didn't get lucky. I put in the work and I earned everything because people get what they believe, not what they deserve. And I believed in myself and the abilities that I created because I worked my butt off, y'all. I worked. Wasn't nothing just handed to me. I didn't just do some online course and be like, okay, I watched the video, so now I should get a job. No, I worked. So back back to the thing, off my rant. $100,000 a month, that was too low. So I was like, let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. So I started working with these people and then within 90 days, my company is doing $100,000 a month. And then within a year from that, my company's doing a million dollars a month within a few minutes after that is doing two million dollars a month but here is where i want to get you guys to understand about who you surround yourself with and what you're exposed to as i became a part of this community i started hearing these stories so it went from awareness where hey man we got people that are doing two three million dollars a month from awareness to like introduction i know now i'm actually in proximity i'm at live events with these same people and i'm hearing their stories and they're telling me yeah man we did like 700k last week here's how we did it no gatekeeping explaining their process and showing the results that they're doing and so that made me start thinking wow i have been undervaluing myself and what i could do and it's all because I was not aware because I hadn't seen it. Like real talk, y'all, if I didn't know people that were doing 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollars a year with online businesses, I would never have known that it was it was something that was even legitimate. And so what I try to do is try to share with you guys, because I know everybody's not gonna go out and start a tech business like me and make millions of dollars. That's not for everybody. But I do believe the masses could go out, take the skills that I talk about, the approaches and you can use that to land a very profitable six-figure career but many of you don't believe that it's even possible to do that which is why i don't talk about trying to show people how to do the multi-million dollar stuff i got to get you there first i got to get you to that awareness and belief before i ever move you to the point where you can believe in yourself and think man I could become a multimillionaire. Once you shift your thinking to knowing that the outcomes that happen in your life are because of the work that you put in and the skills that you have and you can control it, you will see the world completely differently. Most people live their lives based on what happens to them in a very reactive mode. And it's a problem because number one, reactive job positions get paid very little money and reactive people make very little money. And I'm going to explain that right now. Tech support people, they get paid because when something breaks, they get called to fix it. It's called break fix work. A consultant gets paid to get, they get come in and paid hundreds of dollars per hour to tell you how to strategize to not let that computer break. But you got paid $20 per hour to fix it when it broke. Come on, let it sink in for a moment. Let it let it sink. And I'm not coming after you because I was in those tech positions until I actually learned. The value and the money is in conversation. I can consult all day, tell you exactly what needs to be done, and I don't have to put my hands on anything, and that's going to make me hundreds of thousands of dollars. But at the same time, I can work my fingers to the bone, fixing computers, working on networks, and maybe see 70 or 80K in a year. It's because of the value. Most people lack 
one crucial skill that encompasses all this, and that's communication. Most IT guys, let's be real about it, are weird and they cannot communicate. Therefore, they work with their hands because they don't need to talk. They just get pointed to, it's broke, it don't work. They go fix it, job's over. Whereas the value comes from, let's understand why it broke in the first place. How does this impact your business? How can we develop a plan so this does not happen? If we do this plan, it will save you X, Y, Z over the long haul. And we can do this over a six week period for $50,000. So you can turn that 50,000 a year income to a six week thing if you know how to communicate. But you won't ever get to that point unless you're around people that do this. I have sold six weeks consulting packages for $100,000. And I didn't even have to deliver the work. I just managed the team that did it. And many people don't even know that these things exist. And this is why I try to share with y'all. There is an untapped world of security consulting and data security and privacy that people are not talking about because it's not trendy. They're not making movies about a high paid security consultant that just goes and talks to people in the boardroom. They're making the movies about the hacker with the hoodie on that's doing all this stuff and that's not realistic. So guys, take the limits off your career. It starts in your mind. You will get what you believe, not what you deserve. I've seen too many people that have put the work in got the skills but didn't believe in themselves so it never materialized but then it becomes everybody else's fault that's not the way to live let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway is like this video subscribe to the channel for more heat i know some of it hurts and be honest some of you may not even agree with the things that i say and i don't care because it's worked for me and i am getting what i believe so it doesn't matter it does not matter so stay tuned for another episode, I will see you guys. Peace.